Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to the ramble. And yes, it's going to be a ramble this week because my mind is all over the place. My name is Paula and I used to dye my paint in a camper, but I don't anymore because, you know, the roof collapsed and I didn't think that would be very good on my diamond paintings, you know, getting all that roof stuff in there. But this is my painting for the Purple DP for Lupus event I'm doing with Mindy because she's wonderful. No, Mindy, I did not say anything nice about you. Just let's be clear. This is my pen for Lazy River Turning. Best pen place ever, in my personal opinion, for which it counts nothing. But this is my channel, so I can give it. And cover minders by me. They're in my shop. Don't bother to go. It sucks. I never put anything in there. Anyway, how was your week? How was your Mother's Day? Did all of your children remember? Oh, yeah. How lucky you must be. One of mine did. I got a dancing unicorn that sings. A rainbow unicorn. If you know my child, you know there's a joke with the rainbow unicorn, which we're not going to go into because we're just not. But anyway, anyway, because I said to myself, self, you're going to ramble. My dad used to do that. He'd be like, I said to myself, self, I think I told you that in the last video. Anyway, yeah, one of my kids I didn't see on Mother's Day and which is really sad because um, he lives 50 feet from me on the property. Oh, you stupid thing. Shut up. That would be my son's tablet that he doesn't use, so, you know. I took it. He bought it for his girlfriend to use, but he doesn't have a girlfriend anymore, which is great because he met her online, and she was sort of a... Let's see, how can I put this nicely? She was nuts. Cody has a um, nuts attraction. They, they come to him. Oh, really? They come to him, like, right on rice, as they would say. I'm not taking that out. Y'all just got a message. It was from the group. Anyway. So, let me tell you about my week. When my dad passed away, I got his golf cart because I am disabled and we live on a hill on a property and I have trouble getting around on the hill. So, he wanted me to have it. Now, this isn't like one of them really pretty purple rammed up golf carts. No. It's a 70-year-old man's golf cart, which I love and I'm very appreciative for. But we used it in my dad's funeral and it broke down. And I thought, I'll wait till I get my inheritance to get it fixed because I'm not sure what's wrong with it. And it, there's not a lot of places around here that work on golf carts. And then the pandemic hit, so I just got to get it fixed. So we take it to this place. Oh yeah, we work on them all the time. Um, no big deal, no problem. Seven weeks later, I still do not have my golf cart back. Highly aggravated. I just turned that off. Really? Um, so we finally get it back. They were supposed to call and give us an estimate. They didn't. They just called and said, hey, it's ready. Luckily, I had the money because I'm not independently wealthy. How about you? Are you? Well, do you want to adopt me? Oh my. I'm going to be on a roll today. Mindy, don't take a drink of Diet Doctor or your Diet Pepsi today. You never know what will come out of my mouth when I'm on a roll. Anyway, so we go and we get it and we get it back. And apparently, I don't know how to drive a golf cart. So Scott says, get in it and get it to start. And I get in it and put my foot on the gas and it goes, and I'm like, really? <coughs> I'm going to have to take a drink. But apparently it's a cold start because it's so old. And so it has to get going. Which my dad had a safety pin on the throttle. Don't ask me what a throttle is. I don't know. It's the black thing that I pull when I start the golf cart. And the mechanic had said, oh, that's not good for it. Don't hide that on there. So he got rid of it. I was not happy. 
But that's why my dad had the safety pin on it, because apparently my dad had a little redneck in him. But anyway, we get it home, and um, it takes us a couple days to get it unloaded, because we got home late that night, Scott had to work, and then it was Sunday, no, then it was Friday, and he works late on Fridays, because we picked it up on Thursday. So... We get it unloaded on Saturday and I kind of play with it around the yard and then um, I'm like I want to go for a ride and Scott's like okay let's take it down the gravel hill. Well, I didn't think nothing of it. Well there's a huge huge hill on the gravel road that I did not remember and I'm like uh, this is pretty steep should we go down this and Scott's like yeah it'll be fine. Y'all it was not fine. Going down the hill was fine. It was kind of like being on a roller coaster, you know. Whee! Here we go. Coming back up the hill, however, we get about a quarter way up the hill. And when I say this hill is steep, it's like your car goes, hmm. The golf cart said, P -p 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 no. So we're like quarter up the hill. Scott's in it. He's leaning forward with his foot out, like, pushing, like, that's going to do anything. And the cough cart literally putted up the hill. I swear to you, I could have been, like, walking faster than the golf cart was going when we got up the hill. Won't be going down there again. That was the first adventure. So then we're driving by our neighbors, and apparently they have a new dog. Who does not like golf carts? So the first time going down, it chased the golf cart. It didn't get real close. No big deal. The second time, it decides to try to eat the golf cart. The only problem is, my leg is on the golf cart and the dog gets my leg. The dog bit me. And I'm like, Scott, the dog just bit me. Keep going. The dog just bit me. Keep going. It didn't bite you. He's just chasing the golf cart. We get home. Y'all, the dog bit me. Its tooth entered my flesh. Now, it's not huge. I didn't have to get scissor, or scissors, stitches, but it hurt. It's like a big old blood blister. I was so mad. I just wanted to go postal. But I live in the country and we don't call the police because police don't do anything about dog bites. When my son was 15 months old and got mauled by a dog, and when I say mauled, like the dog was carrying him around by his head. His bone was showing, flesh was hanging off, nerves were showing. It was bad. The police were like, you know what I mean? I guess you could take him to the hospital if you want to. You might call us when you get back. They never came out. They never took a report. They did nothing. Nothing. Thing. So we don't call the police around here a lot because they're useless as tits on a boar. Anyway, so then I'm whining all day that my leg hurts. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. You know, no roses, no put your feet up, let me make you dinner. I was like, oh, let's go on. Anyway, I got enough sympathy. Y'all hear the violins over here? What number am I doing? 208. Oh, do I have it in my chart already? It's 209. That's not it. 333. That's not it. So later on in the day, I decide I want to see if the golf cart will make it to the high school down the road, which is like two and a half miles. And so Scott and I take off, and he's driving. And he's like, does it sound funny to you? And I'm like, no, it sounds okay. And, um... We get about a quarter mile down the road, and I hear it make this weird grinding noise. And I'm like, and I look back, and there's black stuff flying off the golf cart. And I'm like, Scott, stuff's coming off. So he waits probably another three minutes, and then he looks and he goes, I don't see nothing. You don't see anything because it's all back down there on the road where you missed it. And then it makes this really clunky sound, and a belt comes flying off. Now remember, this is the first day it's been off the trailer since it's been at the mechanics. A belt came off. A belt that apparently goes to the alternator. Now, my golf cart is gas, but it has electric start. 
So does God turn around so that maybe we can make it home? No, we keep going a little bit. And then I finally complain enough that he turns around. So we're coming back home. I'm like, okay, it's doing good. We'll probably make it home. Well, he decides to get out of the way for a car behind us. And he pulls over into our neighbor's that has like 15 signs, no trespassing. So, of course, you know, that's where we pull over. And I'm like, great. And I said, don't take your foot off the... And about that time, he took his foot off the gas. The gas pedal that is electric start. That we lost the belt to the alternator. Can you all see where I'm going here? Yep golf cart went off and he goes to put his foot on the gas and he goes huh it won't start probably shouldn't have taken my foot off the gas you think jack tracy oh, i was so aggravated first i just got it off back from the mechanic all i wanted to do was be able to ride around on my golf cart like a little old lady but no so i called my son he answers the phone and goes Golf cart quit. Can you come get us? Yeah, I'll come get you. So he brings the truck. Notice I said he brings the truck. Not the trailer. The truck. What was I going to do? Pick the golf cart up and put it in the back of the truck? You want to go get the trailer? So then he goes back. Gets the trailer. Comes back. We load up the golf cart. There's only room for two people in the truck, so they leave me on the golf cart. So I'm thinking, okay, Scott will t leave me on the golf cart. He'll take it easy on the way home. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. He went about 50 miles an hour on the country road. He hit this bump when he was on the curb that I swear to you, me and the golf cart both went, eek, and back down. I'm literally texting him from the golf cart in the back of the truck on the trailer going can you slow down nope they thought it was hilarious they're taking pictures of me they think it's hilarious i'm freezing because it's only like 50 degrees out but we finally get home and get the golf cart unloaded and that was my saturday my relaxing saturday so we get up sunday my leg's still killing me we go to church, we come home, and at church I start feeling it. Because with my lupus, anytime anything weird like that happens, or, you know, I get an injury that might be a little something, I just, my body just goes into overdrive. So Sunday, we go to church, we get home about 1 o'clock, and I feel it coming, and I'm like, I'm going to go to bed. I slept from 1 o'clock Sunday till about 9 o'clock Monday morning. That was my mother's day. I never saw my other son that lives on the property that tried to kill me. But everything's fine. I just, my lupus, if something like that happens, so I've been kind of ill all week. But yeah, I was just like, really people? You can't make this stuff up. I know you guys think I just have the wild imagination but this stuff really happens anyway so let's get to my list of what I needed to tell you guys um if you don't know we have a Facebook group for the purple dp a -thon. I hope I didn't already tell you this and I will link it below and I do a few giveaways in there and I did a live and I'm trying to do some more but every time I want to do a live lupus happens I just haven't had a real great month, and I think it's because the weather's like, I'm going to be 80, oh, but we're going to be 30 at night. Yeah, we had frost the last two days. I'm freezing right now. That's why you hear me snuffling, because if I get cold, my nose runs. Does yours? Hmm. Huh. But we have a Facebook group. The fundraiser is linked in there. If you go under announcements, it's on top, so I tried to pin it to the top. But apparently it didn't pin. I don't know. I'm Facebook stupid. It says I pinned it to the top, but it's just not there. I don't know. I will also link it below. We've already raised $765. I'm so excited. Y'all have no idea. So excited. And I also started a buy me a coffee, only mine is not a 
buy me a diet dr pepper i thought about calling it buy me some drugs but if you didn't know i had lupus you might not understand that it might not come across but so it's buy me a diet dr pepper and if you do wonderful if you don't wonderful i know i'm not a huge youtuber i know i'm not a very consistent youtuber but my middle name is not consistent and it's not grace but I'll link it below. I'm going to link, hopefully remember to link, link, link. <sighs> Lord help me, Jesus. Link Lazy River, which I should have done last time and I forgot. Because, like I said, I'm a crappy YouTuber. I also have lupus brain and I'm old. Ugh. <sighs> And I learned last week with my new phone, thanks to Life with Lindsay, that if you get a new phone and it records in HD, that it won't you upload to YouTube. You have to, like, edit it and make it SD. So, yeah, that's why my whip didn't get up till last Saturday. I was so aggravated. In tears, Mindy's like, I don't know. And then Life with Lindsay's like, I don't know, I'll ask around. She goes, it's in SD, right? Huh? Nope. So, downloaded some editing software, put it in an SD. How do you know? It uploaded. It's amazing. Technology. I'm stupid. Oh. I don't know if I told you guys. This is from the Mian store. I am not enjoying this painting, you guys. It has so much. If you can tell, I'm working a huge area. Because if not, it's like... Here's three of these color and three of these color. It's work that worse than a Chuck Pinson. And the white drills are horde. There's so much trash in them. And it's not like the drills are trash. They're like trash trash. And then like they're different sizes. Ugh. But I don't save my trash. I have a huge moonshine drug beside me that I put my drills in that I'm getting rid of. It came from Georgia. It's not moonshine. It was Georgia cider or peach cider. I didn't know there was peach cider until my husband decided to buy it when we were down there. And then I'm like, I want that jug. And he's like, oh, because you want to act like you got moonshine? No, I want to put drills in it. Why do you want to put drills in it? Because I don't want to throw them away. But why? It's going to be a decoration. I have no idea what I'm doing with it, y'all. I'm just putting the drills in it. Because we live in the country and little critters come through and they get in the trash. I looked up yesterday and there was a cat in my barn because I had the door open because it's so cold. And I was like, oh, let's put the barn in the shade. It'll be wonderful in the summer. Well, it's not wonderful in the summer when Mother Nature can't pick a temperature and it's 30 at night and 70 through the day. But I don't get the heat till like 4 or 5 o'clock. So I have the door open. Trying to let some of the cold out to get some of the heat in. But I look up and there's a cat in my barn just looking around, walking around, jumping on stuff. Y'all, I don't own a cat. Don't. Nope. And it was a black cat. Pure black cat. And I'm like, um, excuse me, who are you? And she said meow. So she's apparently meow. And then she just moseyed on out and out. And I was like, well, at least it wasn't a raccoon or a possum. I don't know where she came from. But just like, um, excuse me? So then I told my husband I was going to buy cat food. You're not feeding the stray cats. Then I have kittens under your barn again. I don't really see a problem with that. I'm just saying. But anyway, how long have I rambled? Who knows? Do we know? I told you it was going to be a rambling chat. So, um... Did you watch Mindy's video? Did you see her whipping chat? Did you see what she's given away? Hmm. If not, you have to go see. But I have an extra special giveaway this week. Thanks to T-Mall. Thank you, T-Mall. Um, I have a $25 gift certificate to diamond painting with sparklers to go get you some extra gems. I highly recommend all the purples. All the purples. You guys, she even has a purple bear. Oh, I can't tell if you can see that. Purple bear. 
She has the knife things. Oh, and she has those new um, squares that will do four spots. Ooh, I should have cut those in white and done the white on that. So why didn't I do that? Because I'm not smart. But anyway, if you would like to get, win a $25 gift certificate from Diamond Painting with Sparklers, leave me a purple heart. Tell me what has... Hmm, what can I have you tell me? Because this was kind of weird. <gasps> I know. You know, I have buy a Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper, that's my thing. What's your favorite drink below? Are you coffee? Are you pop? Do you say pop? Anyway, leave me a purple heart and tell me what your favorite drink is below. Please don't say giveaway below, though, because then you get all them people that are weird and try to steal your certificate, and then I gotta try to figure that out. But anyway... And we'll draw for it probably next week. But yeah, I think that's all I got. If there's anything I should link below that I don't, please let me know. Because we all know I'm not smart. Oh, shut up. You know, I tell that thing to shut up all the time and it doesn't answer me. Anyway, make sure to like this video. Subscribe. Tell me I need Prozac. I'm going to link Buy Me a Diet Dr. Pepper down below. If you do, don't. Wonderful either way. Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. But really, do I ever. Alright guys, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you next week if I figure out my phone. Bye!